Hi everyone, this is Sarah and welcome to Selmond. Today I'll be making these cute glittery ornaments using ornaments that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree or almost any craft store and I'll also be using my Silhouette Cameo 4. Don't worry though, if you don't have a Cameo you can still make these ornaments using paint or permanent markers. If you like what you see here, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button below. If you know anyone that would like this video or my channel, please share this link because every view and every subscriber really helps enable me to keep creating videos for you. And if you'd like to see more of what I do, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or take a look at my blog. The links are in the description below. Hey guys, Sarah here with Salmond. Today we're going to be making some easy glittered Christmas ornaments. So I have here some of the round, um, thin ornaments uh, that you can pick up. You can pick these up at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree even carries this style now. I have some floor wax and this is the Pledge Floor Care. I think they might have changed their name, um, but the floor wax, the finish is what we need. I have some paper cups and I have several different kinds of glitter here that I've picked up um, on my various travels to craft stores. And so these are the main items we're going to use to get started. Okay, The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of our ornaments and just pop the top off. We're going to take the floor wax and get it open there. All right, just going to squeeze some in, and we're just going to swirl it around so we have the entire inside of our ornament covered with it. Okay, and you can cover it with your thumb, shake it up a little bit. want to be sure I have everything covered. Okay, then what I'm going to do is take another ornament and I'm just going to pour that extra wax into the next ornament because we want several of these ornaments to be coated completely on the inside. Okay, so we're going to set this and let it oops, set this aside and let it dry. This may need a little bit more floor wax in it. I'm going to start out with three of these because I have three designs in mind here. All right. And then for the last one, I'll just take that little bit extra floor wax and just pour it right back into the, the jar or the bottle rather. Okay, and then I'm going to squish the tops of these so that they will maybe hold. Line these up against something. These are a little harder to put in cups than the round ones because they do want to tip over. Okay, and we will just let these sit for a couple minutes. We want it to get sticky but not completely dry. All right, now that these have had a few minutes to set up and get tacky on the inside, I'm going to take some of my glitter and I'm going to add it to the inside of our ornaments. But it's hard to pour the uh, glitter directly inside the ornaments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little funnel out of a piece of paper and well, here actually you can see it. It's just a um, piece of cardstock, and I've rolled it into a funnel shape and just used some painter's tape I had on hand. Any type of tape will do to make a little funnel. We'll just stick that in there, and that's how we will pour our glitter into our funnel. But first, because this glitter has not been opened yet, there we go. That popped right off, didn't it? Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and pour in my glitter. Now this is a craft glitter. I can't use this when I'm working with um, resin, so it's perfect for these cups. It just would not give you the, the shiny glittery look you're looking for with resin, but it's perfect for crafts. Oops. And I am just going to coat the inside. The inside of the ornament here with our glitter and just make sure we have a fairly consistent and heavy coating. Made a little bit of a mess here. I'm going to scoop this out on a piece of paper. I should have put the paper down first, but you know, even regular crafters make silly mistakes like that. And I'm just going to pour this out. See a lot of glitter left. Look at that. You definitely don't want to waste that. And then that glitter will be poured back into the container. And now, if you can see, it's got fairly good coverage, but not quite as well being a larger glitter as I would like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take from this Dollar Tree glitter pack, I'm going to take a dark green, matches pretty well, and I am going to pour it into our ornament and coat those smaller spaces that the larger glitter did. And there we have a much better covering, much more solid coating on there. So I'm just going to set this aside and let it dry. And then the rest of this glitter I will put oh, in another little cup just in case we need it for something later. All right now we're going to move on to our next ornament and I'm going to use just a solid red. Get this over here and this is just a fine glitter you can pick up at the craft store. And again I'm going to use my little funnel here. This one as well we're just going to set aside now and let it dry. Okay now for this last one I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to start with this jumbo glitter um, and disco. It's a white iridescent glitter and we're going to go ahead and add some of this in. Okay, and I'm not I'm taking it all about two-thirds of the way up but not quite up to the top. Okay and then I'm going to go ahead and pour that out. Right next, I'm going to take this um, larger glitter. It's not a fine glitter, but I'm going to add it on top of our disco glitter. Okay, so there we have some of the larger glitter, and it still, you can see, is not quite giving solid coverage, but it's giving an interesting pattern. And lastly, I'm going to come in here and take this kind of, I don't know, silvery blue color here, and I'm going to add it in just like I did before to cover all the extra spaces. But I like this color. I think it's going to give us just a little bit of extra dimension and color being still a little different than the other colors that were in there. It'll give it more of a cooler, snowy look. And once again, just gently swirl around. There we go. Now, see this one, we have pretty great coverage. You've got a lot of stuff going on here with the different glitters and the different colors of blues and the bit of iridescence. I love the way this one came out. So now we're gonna set these aside and let them dry before we move on to the next step. Now what I'm going to do is go back to my red ornament and I'm going to make this into a Santa Cam ornament. 
To do this, I am going to use a nylon washer, which I found uh, laying around the house. Um, I'm going to use a small round mirror, and I'm going to use some black paint. And the first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of sandpaper, my nylon washer, and I'm just going to sand the surfaces so that the paint will stick and that it will adhere a little bit better when I glue it to the ornament. And using just a little bit of black paint, just go ahead and coat our nylon washer. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. This will probably take one more coat and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Now for the next step, I used my Silhouette Cameo 4 and I cut out the words Santa Cam and I'm going to take these off using the transfer tape and I'm going to center these on top of my glittered red ornament. Now, when working with an ornament, or any curved surface for that matter, you want to be sure as you center your lettering over it that you start with one side or one section and you press down, working your way around the ornament and releasing the lettering from the transfer tape as you go. This will help you eliminate any bubbles or any creases or wrinkles in your lettering as you move around your project. Now I'm going to take the backing from the lettering and using the slick side I'm simply going to rub over the lettering to make sure that it is well adhered to the ornament. And using the back side of this really helps it from sticking to your fingers or anything else that you might try to press it down with. Now I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue the black washer to the center of the ornament making sure that it is right in the middle of my lettering. And once that is done I am going to do the same thing with the mirror centering that directly in over the middle of the washer. Now that we have that done the last thing we need to do is pop the top back on the ornament and didn't this turn out so cute? I absolutely love the way this came out and I may make a couple more for all my grandkids. For the Grinch ornament, I used this dark purple glitter vinyl and I cut the face out on this. Using transfer tape, I used the same technique I did on the Santa cam, just laying it down over one part of the ornament at the time until I had a smooth, even adhesion. For the last ornament in this series, and my husband's personal favorite, I used a metallic blue vinyl and cut out a snowflake, actually I cut out two snowflakes, one for each side of the ornament, and again using my transfer tape to pull the vinyl off of the backing, I adhered them carefully to the center of both ornaments. Again using the technique of only attaching one part of the snowflake at a time, being careful not to allow the vinyl to touch any parts of the ornament until I was ready for it to. Now you'll be able to see in one point during this um, I did get a small wrinkle in one of my snowflake arms but I was able to take a tool and just gently lift it and straighten it out because I had not pushed down on it hard yet. So if you make any small mistakes until you really push down on that vinyl, it is, you are able to move it a little bit so that you don't ruin your project. Once again, it's time to pop the top back on this final ornament and I have all three of these done. It took me less than a half hour to complete all three of these ornaments from start to finish. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please come back soon for more. I'll have lots of Christmas videos coming up for you. And again, here's one last look at all three of the ornaments, the snowflake, and here's a final look at the Grinch ornament. 
and finally the Santa Cam. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button as well as share it with friends who may also enjoy it. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button and when the notification bell pops up, be sure you hit that as well so you never miss a video. And, as always, have a great day and stay crafty!